I want to send a quick message out there to the black folks who voted for Kamala Harris. First of all, you had every right in the world to vote for exactly who you wanted to vote for, because fortunately you live in a country like the United States where you have. I want to send a quick message out there to the black folks who voted for Kamala Harris. First of all, you had every right in the world to vote for exactly who you wanted to vote for, because fortunately you live in a country like the United States where you have that right. You have the for liberty sure, for to sure. vote for the candidate that you so choose. However, I am no longer going to hold my tongue when it comes to how y'all have been dragging us through the mud Big based facts. upon our own vote. You have been calling us coons, sellouts. You've been wishing death on folks. You've been saying some of the most heinous out-of-pocket things that I've heard in my entire life based upon who we voted for. And yet, y'all are the very ones who are continuing to perpetuate the status quo. You are the follower. Welcome back to Young, Black, and Wealthy, y'all. Listen, this is a good one here. My man is hitting on all cylinders, dropping nothing but gems, dropping nothing but facts right here. But y'all go ahead and smash that like button. It's absolutely free. It helps us get our content out to more people, and it helps us to continue to grow our community. Listen here. He's all the way on point. I've been called everything that you can ever imagine under the sun by these people. Everything that he's saying in this video, I've been saying for this whole year about liberals, about Kamala Harris supporters. They portray themselves to be people who are in support of the rights of others to choose, to live, to behave, to vote how they want to, how they choose. But they're nothing like that. They're actually mean vile, hateful people who feel like that you should do as they do, choose as they choose, think as they think. And I've accused them many a times of being a part of a hive mind. And I say the brain of that hive mind is MSNBC, CNN, The View, and these other liberal news media outlets that they love so much, whose talking points they recycle nonstop. And because you don't think like that, because you choose to be analytical, a critical thinking person, to be a free thinking person, they come out and they attack you. And then they call you things like coon. You're calling me a coon for supporting Donald Trump and the Republican Party? For trying something different than you do? Because you guys have been voting for Democrats for 90-something years, and our condition has worsened. Our families are in worse shape. Our communities are in worse shape than they've ever been. The wealth gap continues to grow in this country between us and our white counterparts. And yet you call me a coon. You call me a house nigga. You call me an Uncle Tom. And yet you vote for the party that was the party of slavery, the party of KKK, the party of Jim Crow, the party of the 94 crime bill, the party that held up to 1964 Civil Rights Act in the United States Senate, the party that put policies in place that they call so-called anti-poverty policies that actually destroyed your families. They destroyed your communities. They said that it couldn't be a father in the home. And yet you call me a coon? And you say, well, Donald Trump is a hater and a racist and he's going to take away the rights of people. But he was in office for four years. He didn't, take any way, any, he didn't take away any rights from black people. He didn't write or sign into law any legislation that took away the rights of black people or destroyed the black community. I always ask people to name me one and they can't do it. But they voted for Joe Biden. They forgave Joe Biden, who was a man who eulogized his buddy, who, who was a KKK member, who has said all type of racist things in the past, 
on the Senate floor. All type of these these undertones, racial undertones. They have no conscience. I don't want them attacking my wife, my wife, my sons, my sister. We 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 might have put them in this in this type of condition, but at the same time, that's not our problem. That's not our focus right now. We need to just drive them into prisons. And what did they come up with? The crime bill? Three strike you outlaws? Powder versus crack cocaine laws? Racism all in it. And yet you've went out and voted for him. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris even called him a racist. <laughs> Bro, y'all so backwards. But you've been on the attack the whole year. And it has not swayed me or any others. As a matter of fact, while you've been on the attack, more people have left the Democratic plantation. Because they're not getting any results over there. And more people will continue to leave the Democratic plantation. Because it's a party of elites. And it's a party of people who actually hate black people, who think that they own them. When y'all wake up and realize that, you're going to be pissed off at yourself. The 92% of black women, the 80% of black men who continue to vote for the very same slave master that y'all purport that we are trying to get the approval of. Did you forget that your massa was the Democrat? Did you forget that your massa was Kamala's camp? Now, y'all vote off of identity politics. Y'all been tricked into this belief that because they're skin folk, they are kin folk, that they're your family. But yet you got people who look just like you, who have backstabbed you over and over again, who look just like you, probably even share your own bloodline. And yet you will continue to enable that behavior. I'm done with being quiet, y'all. I'm done. The slander, the disrespect has gotten out of pocket and Thanks. somebody needs to say something. Y'all are the followers. Y'all are the ones who are perpetuating the very same dysfunction that you claim to want out of your own neighborhoods. You continue to vote for it time and time again. And That's because they love it. And you got Joy Reid upset and pissed off because white women, she felt like in her mind, should have supported their black sisters, right? Like a fool, she thought that. But they followed the leadership of their husbands like they should do. And I respect that. Because like I've said, I've been saying since she said that, nobody is going to support dysfunction. Nobody's going to support that. But black people, 90-something percent of women, and I really believe, to be honest with you, I think they was like 20% of black men that voted for Donald Trump. I really honestly believe that if it hadn't have been so much pressure, because a lot of these men out here are weak, if it hadn't have been so much pressure from their wives and their girlfriends to support abortion, I really do believe that it would have been even more men who voted for Donald Trump, to be honest with you. And so when you get the very same results within your cities, the so-called chocolate cities, when you continue to try to get these Democrats back into office Demon and you see crats. the very same outcomes, you have one person to blame and that's the person in the mirror. And the next time you see, you better thank a union member. The next time you see <laughs> a black person who voted for Trump, you better thank a Trump voter. Because they're looking for change. They did their own research. Y'all have slandered them. They have had to face the ridicule, the criticism, the hatred from y'all. And they still went out of their way to make a decision that's going to better your ungrateful ass as well as everybody else. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, he went in, and he's right. Thank me later. 
I don't I see the thing about me is the difference between me and a lot of other people is I don't give a damn about the smoke. Bring it on. You can call me every name in the book that's still not going to change how I feel. If you want to challenge something, challenge the validity of what I'm bringing to you, what I'm presenting to you. You can't change my mind by calling me names. That doesn't bother me. But you should be ashamed of yourself. Because you feel like the nerve of this SOB to have a mind of his own. The nerve of these house Negroes to have a mind of their own. They should be thinking like us. And we love dysfunction. We love our communities like this. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something, y'all. Y'all can go to hell. Go to hell. That's where you're going anyway. You're going down that path anyway. And the thing about the majority, I was not I'm all the Trump, black Trump supporters. None of us are looking for no handout. None of us are looking for the president to change our lives. Only thing we want him to do is, is pull us from this far extreme left back into the center and then create a, a, an environment in this country that, that, that uh, facilitates equality for all people and sets up an environment to where we can afford to live, the vast majority of American people, that is safe, that has secure borders, right? That creates an environment to where we can send our children to school and afford to do so, buy a home, invest, start businesses, and then get the hell on out the way. Because we don't want big government. Because we've seen what big government does. It has failed us. And we want to put an end to it. But most of Kamala Harris supporters, y'all don't even think, y'all aren't even thinking on that level. That'll have to be a whole nother video for me to explain that. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And matter of fact, Kamala Harris supporters, liberals, black liberals, Democrats, I still got love for y'all because I support your right to choose to vote how you want to. I just vehemently disagree with you on your choice, but I have mad respect. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support independent media, that's all you got to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can go down into the description, follow us on other all the other uh, social media platforms, and you can also make a donation as well. Our cash app is down in the description. Thank you so much for the support. Love y'all. Have a great day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Lord's will. And don't forget to get a family a hug from me.